As always, salute to the squad, salute to the family, salute to everybody that sub to the channel, showing love, man, following the channel. I love every single one of you. Now, let's get into the topic of discussion, man. Devin Haney recently came out of the shadows and had an interview with Andre Ward, man. SOG Andre Ward, bro. One of the best to ever lace up a pair of gloves, bro. I don't always agree with everything he says, but that's what makes this world a beautiful place, dog. I feel like sometimes we got to agree to disagree, especially as men out here, bro, and not be so sensitive to everybody's opinions and speak our mind, man. Devin Haney, on this interview, All the Smoke Fight, was asked some tough questions by Andre Ward, man. And I got to salute Andre Ward for asking him, asking him these tough questions. And I also got to salute Devin Haney for doing the interview, bro, and answering um, these tough questions when it comes to Ryan Garcia, man. But watching Devin Haney's demeanor, bro, anytime Ryan Garcia questions came up, bro, this dude looks like he is really not over that loss mentally and emotionally and spiritually, bro, however you want to say it, man. I feel like that loss... Is still bothering him till today because multiple times in the in interview, even Andre Ward said after taking that loss, even though we know that that um, L got wiped off of Devin Haney's record, whether I agree or disagree with it, that's a whole nother topic, bro. Even though that L was wiped out, Andre Ward still can't even psychologically help himself, but say even after that loss, Devin Haney was agreeing with him and talking, but then he would catch himself and say, oh, but he took PEDs and I got to salute Andre Ward because he interviewed Eddie Hearn and he went on to tell Eddie Hearn, I was waiting if Andre Ward was going to actually say this to Devin Haney and salute to you, Andre Ward. He said he believes Ryan Garcia was overweight and somebody probably... Um, gave him those supplements to cut weight, bro. Whether it was right or wrong, whether Ryan Garcia knew or not, bro, Andre Ward went on to express that to Devin Haney. And obviously, Devin Haney said cheating is cheating and whatnot, bro. I'm going to go ahead and just cut to the chase. Devin Haney. People are always going to talk, bro. You can never stop that. And it looks like mentally you're still broken from this fight. I definitely think Devin Haney needs, to, needs a tune-up fight. He needs to get his confidence back, bro, and his swag back about him, bro, because he looked way too humble to me, bro. You need to have some cockiness as a fighter unless that was a whole act which you were portraying all this time. Now, the only way I feel psychologically Devin Haney will help himself is to rematch Ryan Garcia, bro. If Devin Haney never rematches Ryan Garcia and, and, and you know, his career is over and he sells off into the sunset, I promise you, when Devin Haney is a retired man, even at the age of 65, 70 years old, I promise you that that fight is going to keep lingering in his head. The only way that Devin Haney can feel better about himself as a man, and I'm saying this respectfully, because you got one side of people saying that Ryan Garcia whooped that ass, bro. He taxed that ass, point blank, period. That loss is going nowhere, right? Then you got the other side of people, the hardcore Devin Haney fans, obviously saying Ryan Garcia cheated. Now, the only way to settle this, and I was one of those dudes that thought Devin Haney was going to win the fight. When I predicted the fight, I thought Haney was going to win. Even after the fight, man, you know, I made a video talking about Devin Haney should keep his head up. But then what threw me off, man, and left a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth, no diddy, is when Devin Haney, bro with this whole lawsuit and trying to get his O back, like that's going to, you know, raise his stock and dancing in that, uh, in, in that bowling alley and, and, and trying to beat up a civilian and all the stuff happening outside the ring, bro. It just, it just, man, it just made me feel some type of way. But the only way to resolve this issue, whether Devin Haney wins the rematch, loses, or whether it's a draw, dog, is for Devin Haney to take a rematch with Ryan Garcia step into that ring and look like a live dog in the fight, even if he loses. Because that first fight, man, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Ryan Garcia looked gassed in a lot of those rounds. He was taking rounds off, then coming back the next round and, and whooping Devin Haney's ass, bro. If, I'm going to just com be completely honest with you guys, bro. That fight should have been stopped. And I mean, the knockdown should have been doubled if the ref didn't step in and save Devin Haney a few times. But the only way Devin Haney psychologically could help himself, bro, and help 
you know, his future and the remainder of his life because it looks like he's not over this. And it, and it feels to me, if he don't fight Ryan again, he's never going to get over this. It's to get into that ring, look like a live dog, you know, maybe hurt Ryan Garcia a few times and have it be an action-packed fight. And hey, we all know Devin Haney likes to live a luxurious lifestyle. We all know Devin Haney likes to portray himself is this big time, big time millionaire. And I'm not saying he's not a millionaire, but I feel like the way he portrays himself, he ain't that hundred million dollar millionaire. And in my opinion, a Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia rematch? Financially? I honestly feel like the rematch would do better than what Ryan did with Tank, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Because now all the non-believers that didn't watch the first fight because they thought Ryan was drunk and, and, and on drugs and all that, bro. Didn't watch the first fight. They lost ticket sales because of that Devin Haney saying. And, and you know, the lost money at the gate. All those dudes are going to tune in. All the Ryan Garcia's fans are going to tune in. All the um, Devin Haney fans are going to tune in. That want to see Devin Haney get his get back, bro. Promoters are going to be licking their chops to see who could promote this fight. Pay-per-view would, 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 be, would be through the roof, in my opinion. And it would be a sold-out arena. I feel like that would be the biggest fight financially in boxing. And Devin Haney, I know you love your paper, bro. So you'll go ahead and make a lot of money. And I commend you for taking this interview. But with that rematch, you'll, get, you, you'll make a whole lot of money. And you'll have some peace of mind and clarity. No matter the outcome, bro. No matter the outcome. I feel the only way you're going to get over this, bro, is to fight this man again. It's your boy Armin with Real Talk. My thoughts, my opinions. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Always hit that like button if you're rocking with these videos. Hit that sub button if you're not sub. We're trying to grow out here, man. Peace and blessings to all my real ones. I'm going to catch you on the next one. We out of here.